Brace for more rideshare and food delivery surcharges. That's what drivers are telling our Tara Molina. Gas surcharges on rideshare start tomorrow for Uber and Uber Eats customers. Tara, drivers tell you that they don't think those surcharges are enough to really make a difference. That's what we heard here today. We'll have to see how things shake out when everything's officially in place tomorrow. But rideshare drivers did tell us with gas prices on the rise, they've already had to change the way they work and which trips they take. When George Kesky gets in the car tomorrow, he'll be making between 45 cents to 55 cents more every trip as an Uber driver. But he told us a quarter or two, they're not going to make the difference. It's not gonna cover our costs. So he has to. Before I was driving about six hours, you know, six hours a day. Now I'm anywhere from having to do 10 to 12. Uber will add 45 to 55 cents in fuel surcharges to every trip and 35 to 45 cents to every Uber Eats order starting Wednesday and meant to help drivers, he says, are struggling right now. Definitely going to lose drivers because drivers can't afford to be out there no more. That's why George says he'll change what he does, skipping food deliveries. With the time food orders take, in addition to the drive and delivery, he just won't be doing those anymore and says others feel the same way. The average is three to four dollars for a delivery. So you got, you're got sitting, got 45 minutes tied up for four dollars. A spokesperson for Lyft told me customers will soon face a temporary fuel surcharge that, like Ubers, will go to drivers, but didn't say how much or when. Food delivery companies like DoorDash and Caviar haven't addressed concerns like George's yet about moving away from food delivery, but a spokesperson told me they aren't adding any gas surcharges to order costs. This driver's message to the companies he drives for isn't about surcharges. Start giving us you know, more, more money. You know, you know, give us more of what you're taking. Uber spokespeople say that that surcharge will be in place for the next 60 days, but they will monitor and change it if need be. Lyft still hasn't said exactly what their surcharge will be and when it will go into place, but we'll continue to track that closely. For CBS2, I'm Tara Molina.